you said you'd, you'd spoken to Jürgen before about the decision. Did you, ever, did you actually have quite a good conversation about his thought process behind his no, decision? No, no, I think he said to me, I'm not sure what he said to all of you in the media. So the reason why and wish him luck, so of course. And do you, I mean, you know, you've, you've been here a long time. He's been at Liverpool a little bit longer. You're probably better placed than anyone to understand the energy and the demands that he's faced. How draining is it? How how tiring is it to to lead a club like that at the top for that long? And can you understand his thought process? And is it to actually take a big big decision to sometimes say, you know what, I don't have the energy to keep leading forward? Well, the demanding is high for all the managers, not just <coughs> I would say on my behalf on myself. So there are a lot, but everyone handled it the way the way. So. Everyone's, uh, all of us, we have up and downs as a manager, so we feel guilty, we feel responsibility for many people who trust you, for the club you represent. That is normal. So, and sometimes you take longer, sometimes it depends on environment. Every, I think every case is completely different. And every manager, it doesn't matter the league, the team. And it depends on many circumstances that you stay longer or stay shorter. Normally, stay short so when you don't win games and they sack you. Normally, that's happened. But if you win games and you're happy, you can stay longer. But every case is, I don't want to compare every situation in, in, in different scenarios. Always I was in Barcelona and I was really, really tired and I left. So and he has stood longer when I didn't think he when I arrived. So I think every case is different. Oh. This isn't, um, I know this is going to sound as if it's about Jürgen, but it's not really. I, it, it, when you, in your public pronouncements, you normally, uh, you have a relentless positivity and energy. Do you, do you get tired as well? No, no. When, I mean, what, 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 what makes you, uh, sorry, I know it's an obvious question, but what makes you tired when... When do you get I think, time? I think there is no person to know when you will be tired, when you will be happy, when you will be sad, when you will be the feelings, the moods. The most important thing I learned in my job is don't go against your mood. When you are sad, you are sad. Tomorrow you'll be better. When you are happy, enjoy and be happy. When you are tired, so I'm tired. So, because sometimes uh, there are influences for people from family, from friends, for results, for many things that make you feel. And the people now today in a, in a modern life is, you have to be so happy all the time. You have to be, you show how good is your food yesterday you ate, you know? And you have to show to the world that, you know, and sometimes we are a little bit sad. Okay, it's normal. When I was a little boy or young or teenager, I don't remember all the time I was a happy man and a happy boy. So accept it. And you tell me how you'll be tired. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I am sometimes, but now for my job, I'm still I'm fine. Is, is there a pressure um, as a manager, as a, as a leader, not to show that tiredness in front of your players, for instance? Good question. This is a good one. Uh, but sometimes when we know each other in club quite well, I would say, for the a lot of people here, and always they know <laughs> when I am tired, because I am, or I am not in good mood, they know it, they realize it, and, <coughs> and it's not a problem, because <laughs> sometimes you have to pretend you are a superman, a super human being, and you have to be perfect and everything, you have to win all the time, thousand million titles, and, uh, you know, you have to do exceptional things all the time. And, you know, because I am here and it's not. So I am the same like you, like all of you, like my players, that there are good moments and bad moments. And, and no more than that. So, but the other people are confused. No, you have success. Oh, that guy is perfect. Oh, no, has success, success. This guy is, uh, ah, it's not good. It's boring, you know, to justify this kind of, these kind of things. Last, just last question I want to ask about that. Like in some of our politicians, sometimes we talk about um, Margaret Thatcher famously only slept four hours a night. How, how much do you sleep? 
the Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, so was stronger than me. So What's absolutely, your... I need to sleep more and more hours. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Pep. Um, you already sort of touched upon the atmosphere at Anfield on Sunday. It's obviously going to be very wild or vibrant. So how important is Rodri for your team just to sort of set the tempo and, you know, sort of allow you to play how you want your team to play? A lot. But not just uh, Rodri would say, uh, but of course it's so important, really, really important player. But to make a good process, a good pressing or the other one, not the pen, not just Rodri. So Rodri can arrive when he can arrive, he can play when he can play. But we need the contribution of everyone to, to impose our game and try to win the game. When you first identified him as a signing, potential signing for City, how easy or difficult was it to sort of decide, yes, this will take this player? Was it obvious that he was going to be... <coughs> You know, potentially very good or yeah always always we try to to figure out how good we'll settle with us for this the quality of course we was playing an important team it was was i would say football football wise <coughs> was born in Villarreal where the people in the academy were really really well uh and after win atletico madrid atletico madrid have to win titles is a top top team in in spain and playing in europe every season for many many years champions league so and when you take a players with that environment, you have the feeling that is well educated and with a good managers and have a something. But at the end, you be here, have a big presence, uh, have the quality with the ball. We saw some details about the personalities, but at the end, you never know. You know, you sign in for the best, but you never know. All, all the teams and managers, sport directors, make a good, good signs, <laughs> good mistakes. So. It happened, but the mistakes. What is about for the manager to let them play for the decision? Because at the end, have a problems in the personal life. Why the managers think mm -mm, we have something not good vibes or whatever? So there are many, many thousand million reasons. Sometimes it doesn't work. So, but we, what we can say for the fact they play a lot of minutes, Rodri is a better player than he arrived. He was a little young, young boy, and now, you know, for. The experience that many games in the good moments, bad moments, he became he has become a, a top 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 class player. Just my last one. You talked about Xabi Alonso the other week about how you had him at Bayern Munich, Xabi Alonso, and kind of how you know similar player right, position. So could you see Rodri one day maybe being a coach, a manager, because of yeah. how he has to think about the game? Can be. Yeah. I always had the theory that good holding midfielders, you know, uh, can become a good good managers because I, I said many times so the winger play for my action. The holding midfielder have to see the game in a global global perspective, and I think they have a little bit more, you know, more. But it depends on the desire that we'll have, and if if you want to do it or not. Pep, Pep, does it bother you what people outside the club think of Manchester City? Because you've defended the club on on many occasions, or is it just important to you that you that you are loved by the people inside this club, not outside? Sorry, I didn't. It's the first part. Sorry. Does it matter to you what people think about? of Manchester City from outside the club, or is it just the people who are inside the club that, that, no, that matter? But, no, but that is normal. So we are a public. Uh, we have a public job, and the people, the job cannot be done without the opinion for the external people. So, it's it's normal, and the good ones and the bad ones. So. So it's not uh, not a problem. So we have to live with that. We have to deal with that. Otherwise, you cannot be in that world. And but at the end, inside all the ropes, so we know who we are. What we have to do to continue to be there. And just ask you. You mentioned about little details mattering in these games. Um, City have often played well at Anfield and not won. And sometimes uh, there are certain aspects of the game that that are out of your control particularly refereeing decisions. Is there something different about Anfield when it comes to referees controlling games? You have to, when that happens, have to perform better. So we cannot control what happened in the, in this stadium with the referees, you have to do better. It's only we can do. So it's not the first time, it will not be the last, and we have to do is perform better. It's the only only chance I knew for the past when I was in my hometown and now, many, many years after. So we have to overcome the situations. So and to do 
the big achievement to try to fight for the four Premier League in a row that no team have done ever, ever. Uh, this is the type of challenge we have to face. Overcome absolutely everything. Otherwise, it will be difficult in that case to win on Sunday. Uh, but whatever happened, uh, I'm pretty sure we'll perform well. And whatever happens, still we have many, many games to play. Last Wednesday was in and out. Next Saturday will be in and out in the competition FA Cup. But here, knowing accepting that this really, 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 really important, important, important game for the title challenge, uh, I still had the feeling that many things is going to happen. But we talk about players being intimidated by Anfield. Are other play are other people involved in the game intimidated by by Anfield? Listen, uh, I said it's the same question. Only I can handle is 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 our performance, what who we are, what we are as a as a team, and this is only we can we can we can deal. And it's happened. It's happened. We'll see. Hi, Pep. And we've talked about voices outside criticising City. Is the main difference between managing City and Barcelona and Bayern Munich is that there's no voices inside that are criticising it? So everyone seems to be on board and it's just kind of us against the world, whereas at your previous every, every club... club just... Every club has his own targets to be criticised from outside. Barcelona is completely different than here. So... So... Just uh, what I said before. So we are in a world that uh, the people have an opinion. So what the right back from Liverpool has said is what the, a lot of people, people, people think. So it's not news. I would say that's why it's not necessary to say much. Thank you, guys. Masterclass.